All right, we got the whole story. So let's find out what Monkum has to say. I'm, we're getting right into this. Are we gonna get the new video of Jinko? No, I think he's just off. I think she's coming here. Come on, it's time you finally revealed yourself. It's not like you're an endangered species or something. I think he's off because I think Junko left the controls. Give it up, Junko. The game's over. Yeah, she's coming here. Oh. No, she's still in the control. Do you think the story would end once we reach the climax of the cave? Wrong! There's still plenty more to go! Okay. You ready to meet her? You ready to meet my least favorite character? The ultimate spare. In Nico and Ashima. In the entirety of the Danganronpa series, this is my least favorite character. Don't understand why so many people love her. What the fuck is that voice? Just, nope, just. What is that Ty was talking about? Uh, no. No thanks. I Pass. plan to say no thanks, but I'm. I do. Did you think I was being serious? Sorry, I was just messing with you. It's been so long since I've had an audience. Even I'm not sure what kind of role I'm supposed to play. Huh? This is the Mastema? She's yeah, she's chill. psychotic. She's the real Junko Anashima. Anyway, looks like I've finally been set free. Having to play Monokuma all the time, day after day, it was like I was stuck in purgatory, or like a slow suicide. I get bored so easy, you know? Face! Huh? What about my face? What's wrong with my beautiful face? People have told me I'm cuter than a hundred chihuahuas combined. <laughs> I feel like this isn't the first time I've seen you. I mean, she has been in magazines. No, I do remember seeing it. Sure, I've seen it too, somewhere. Uh. I got it. That's right. It was before I ever came in. Yeah, and I brought this up. Uh, Maruko said it was Photoshop. Why she looks so different? But it was because it wasn't the same person. You were on it. Honestly, I didn't realize that she looked that different until she brought up the Photoshop thing when I first played this. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, your eyes are more blue, but whatever. That wasn't her. But I feel like that doesn't quite match up to reality. Huh? Oh, are you talking about my co cover photos and junk? Ha, <laughs> well, of course, those are totally photoshopped. Photoshopped? Yeah, you know, edited a Howlin' bag with like computers and junk. Those are cool, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, so they aren't real? Well, now you got me fucking paranoid. Hi. Can you watch us? Wouldn't you agree? She's very chill. I'm expecting it to change, but. Give her 10 seconds to get bored of this personality. This is the longest I've ever seen her talk in a personality. She tried her best. But there's just no way she could have passed as the ultimate fashionista. Two people can never become one as long as the walls of mind and body exist. I don't know, I think she did a pretty good job better than you. Uh, it doesn't, it does make sense. So, uh, you're talking about, like, because this was a design for Junko I saw a long time ago. Uh -huh. People prefer drawing this one. Uh, -huh. uh So I never, I, so when I saw pictures, I never actually, so when I did see it, I didn't actually see Junko. And I think you said uh, that was, that was something else. Huh? Because you, you well, I think when I brought that up, like, why she had those in her hair, uh, you had said that was something else to kind of throw me off the scent. Oh, yeah, I just said that people like drawing fan out of her with Monokuma. Huh. Now we know why. Yeah. I know. It's such a cliche, right? 
I'm almost embarrassed to admit it. So Cut. basically, Rupero and I had your stereotypical twin relationship. The older sister, tough and proud, that was Mukuro. The younger sister, smart and cute, that was... <laughs> Me, Junko fucking Anishima! And together, <laughs> we were the despair sisters, aka the ultimate despair! Whoa. She's a totally different person now! Yep. Like I said, I get bored easy as hell! I don't even get fucking bored of myself! I'm liking this. That's... <laughs> You know, I can relate, but also I just really fucking hate Jim Oh, so. that again? This irritates me. How many times people ask me that shit? Maybe it's new to your dumb ass, but it forced me to tears. Answering the same questions over and over? Just make up what This one reminds me just the pose. The truth's fucking lame anyway. Uh, this pose for some reason reminds me of Leon. I did that exact same pose in eighth grade after a Pops Choir concert when we had dresses like 80s rockers and my hair was all wild and I had like crazy liner and stuff. Reminds me. I'll put that picture on screen. I'll do it. I want to see it. <laughs> what the fuck? Someone had to be able to control the killing game from behind the scenes. The so-called mastermind had to operate Monokuma, keep an eye on everyone, things like that. I kind of I like the but teacher Junko. The it's kind of funny. Teacher Junko is my favorite personality because she's the most such down chill. to earth. Yeah, she's the most chill. Wow, a crazy person you don't like. She turned out to be the oh yeah, I then. fucking hate her. That's why she wasn't she on my list of psychos. To run off and join some band of mercenaries. Not just because I didn't want to put J.E. and get you confused. So I decided to play the role of director and have her join the rest of you. Wait, what'd you put in that? She was on the list? No. I could have no. let her work alongside me. Doka was on the list. Yeah, uh, I saw G.J. was on there. Uh-huh. The Technically, Toka was on the list. 15 students seemed like a solid number to start with. Of course, the fact that she was the ultimate soldier posed something of a problem. She had what I call the three atrocities. Atrociously rank, atrociously filthy, atrociously repulsive. It was atrociously clear just how out of touch she was with the rest of society. Cool. She changed her hair fast too. My ultimate fashionista status has an undeniable appeal that I didn't want to go to waste. And that's why you switched identities? Sadly. Her inability to match my personality was even greater than I'd calculated. It was a lost cause. Maybe nah. it's because he got like 50. She was nothing more than a bit player. An extra What the fuck is a bit player? Being the this is disappointment that she was. Anyone would have You're disappointed now that she's on screen. Oh, I hate her so much. It's so funny that you like Monokuma but hate Junko. I love Monokuma, I hate Junko. Everyone's expectations. It's just, it's honestly just her personalities. They drain me. That they make me switching? They make me exhausted. Oh man, if only Hifumi was here, she would love, he would love this. Yep. This voice yep. actor is working overtime. Oh yeah. Uh, I think it's Caitlyn Glass in the anime. I've never Mukuro hated Caitlyn Glass more. Mukuro's death was a one-sided, premeditated act of betrayal. Called Either that Caitlyn too. Glass or Just Monica Rio. I can't remember. Oh, I'll be on when screen. Was killed, yeah, I'll put it up. She must have been as surprised as anybody else. <sighs> yeah, I mean, she did say it's not supposed to happen like this. It is. What? what? Uh huh. This wasn't supposed to. What? Me. Yep, that's why I remember. So you figured it out. This is my least favorite one so far. Most of them I've been pretty cool with. Even the rocker one. I hate the rocker one. But she did teach I just like the 80s. I like 80s rock shit, so I liked it. It was the same reason I like Leon. You sacrificed your own sister. How does that not even bother you? Because she's the ultimate despair. Dude, we've seen four different Junkos in five seconds. Sure, 
sure. I felt despair as long as I can remember. Like I never should have been born at all. When I was born, I cried tears of total despair. Man, so your parents must have fucking hated you. Kina is in shock. Most people are. Except for Biakia. Alright, kind of listen. You say that. But your sis definitely felt shit at the end there. Yeah, she was betrayed. That's why her sister's the ultimate soldier and Junko's the ultimate despair. What the fuck? Hi, welcome to Mushroom, Anoshima. What the fuck is this one? You know when anime characters get sad and they grow mushrooms? I've never seen that. You've never watched Doran High School, so. I've watched some of it, I never finished it. Tomaki does it a lot, he has a mushroom corner. Super, 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 Dude, back 50 feet up. You're way too close. Can we switch? Maybe I should switch seats. Super, super, super jealous. Some ordinary person. You're some kind of abnormality. Yeah, she's the ultimate despair. Please don't make her repeat it. Abnormality doesn't even begin to describe it. I'm I'm yeah. very affected by whatever mood Junk uh, Junko is doing. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah. But, you. Uh, this is this is like the kind of you always <laughs> you let your despair. You you're in despair. She's doing a good job right now. Oh yeah, I I hate her. Not just because of what she does, just because of her person, like uh, how her personality is. I also I don't even care that she created this killing game. That's fucking cool to me. It's just her as an entity. I hate. Yeah, I, I've I haven't had a problem with her so far. I like her so far. I think you'll like. Her less I don't think when there's you see the, perfect. This is honestly the worst the one so far. Continuation. Because mm. in the animation she switches personalities a lot more frequently. Mm. And just... That sounds annoying. Yeah. I honestly am shocked she's been in one personality for longer than a few lines. It's confusing me. You still haven't figured out. This one's the only the one I'm okay with because she's pretending to be Monokuma and I can pretend that she's not there. Honestly, Monokuma is pretty constant. I'm, su I'm surprised she uh, she uh, was able to keep Monokuma personality as Monica uh, so long. The oh, I know. Shocks me. I love her doing this voice. I love that. Damn straight! Of all the people to say that in this game, of course it would be Makoto. Damn Skippy. Alright, Hero, that's not gonna work. But that's cute. Not exactly. I pointed this out earlier. When, t when she talked about the motive, the motive that we saw, they want what was going to happen. They will what already has. The first motive. Even back to what Monica told she sounded us. sounded like Dora. Do you know what it is? <laughs> no, it's Monica McCampy. Well, that you came up with. You're talking about the motives you provided to try and get us to kill each other, right? Hero, please stop. Hero, no, Hero, no. No. Oh, hey, this one again. I would hope you wouldn't forget something so important. 
I also kind of like this one too. This one's okay. I just hate the pose. No, she's just Biakia. No. She's like breaking her back to turn around. Also, you can't see her face. Like she's pretty. So it yeah, angers me that you never it. see her face so my question in a decent all. way, except in the corner. When Sayaka was murdered, what was the theme of the motive I presented? Family. The theme from the motive of uh, oh. human connections. Yeah. I got it. The driving force behind the motive you presented us with at that point was human hey, connections. Hey, she's going to go over every single one of them. Really? Yeah, just looking at what the next answers are, Remember she's just gonna CBD go over the motives for everything. Each video showed the total destruction of your most important relationship. Okay, so... Easy. Oh, fuck, shit, Do we get to see everyone's? For example, your family. I actually wanna know everyone's example, motives. your friends. I ruined all those relationships and showed you the results. This one's it very was to calm. motivate your desire to escape and kickstart your urge to kill. I like the way she talks with this one. What a cruel thing to do. You're the one that did it. Yeah, I hate her queen, her yeah, anime, I'm perfectly happy and her, to her disapproval. rocker. Oh, rock, I don't hey. mind. Don't Anime's kind of annoying. Question. Uh, so, what was the theme for the second motive? The second motive, uh... This was Chihiro and Mondo. Oh, the past. There you go. I got it. That was, uh... It was I know you blocked that one out, so I was just gonna help you with that. Yeah, I had to really think of that one. I don't remember a lot from the second case. I know. You blocked it out of your mind. Whereas it's the one that I remember the best. And the whole reason Mondo did what he did was to protect his secret. Oh, f I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, Shut sixteen up. more times. Uh, third was three. Three was the death. That was Celeste, so that was yeah, three was Celeste. Sorry, it was I was wrong that Greed. Seek and destroy! Hell yeah, you got it again! I do admit I kind of like this one personally. That's fine. God Stop sounding so depressed. You do, th <laughs> you do this in Ace Attorney too, and it kind of bugs me. I'm sorry, I really hate it. You know what also bugs me? Uh, the money is off-centered. Yes, it is. Um, I Fuck feed... Off with I feed off of the energy of the people in the game. And... I feed off of other people's energies very hard. And Junko is indeed the ultimate despair. Yeah. So I just get real. So why you always sound so? De why are you so depressed in certain cases in Ace Attorney? Because I was bored. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> I get bored really easily. I'm I'm like Junko. I get bored way too easily. But anyway, I want to point out. So there's three lines of center in this picture. There's the money. There's Monokuma, and there's the backgrounds. I want you to know Monokuma is the actual center, but they couldn't put all the lines on the center because that would look really weird. So they had to offset each of them. Okay, I guess that makes sense, but it's still it's just it still is like where are we look at this from? We're looking at it from just the right angle for this to be annoying. I assume Moko is like slightly to the right, I guess. Mm -hmm. What's the point of all this? Why are you making us go through this case by case? Because she feels like it. Stop. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry, sweet cheeks. Sorry. Because <laughs> she feels like it. Now, can you tell me the Better. Behind crazy ass Sakura's crazy ass death? Oh, well, in the case, I was blackmail. Oh, betrayal. Wait, technically both these are correct. Uh, do you want me to tell you? Uh, betrayal? Okay. In her case, it was betrayal. Precisely. You see... Ooh, we're about to get to my favorite thing. Once I revealed Sakura's betrayal, that led to everything that came afterwards. Uh, by the way, if you're wondering, no, Sakura did not know anyway, who the best friend was. She was honest like with that. Oh, I figured not, considering, uh, in the one time it was like, they showed her meeting the, the mastermind, uh, the showed her meeting, it was just Monokumo. She always just met with Monokumo. Mm -hmm. Relationships? Secrets? Money? Betrayal? These are all pretty standard motives, right? The most normal of normal. Totally middle of the road. Not 
Okay, now she's switching too quick. In fact, there are as many reasons to kill as there are This one's probably the most annoying one to me. I just, I don't like the voice of it. Oh, I hate it. Bringing despair to the world. Compared to a voice actor, though. Oh, yeah. Like, this would be fun. But, oh, God, I'd hate myself afterwards. Do you, hold on, I want to look up her voice. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, I can actually look her up with you looking at the screen now. Oh, yeah. God. I assume this is the artwork that you've seen a lot. Nope, I've never seen that one. No. How much longer is this stupid speech of yours? I've never seen her standing over Monokuma like that. Huh. That's the most common one. When you Google Junko Onoshima, that's the first thing that pops up. Which is I've why never Googled Junko Onoshima. I know, which is why I was very adamant that you can't Google anything from Danganronpa. I never did. I'm very proud of you. I do not Google uh, stuff for games that I want to go and spoiler free for. I do not. Um, I'll give an example of why. Doing? Uh, because, like, when you Google something, it also gives you oh, okay. YouTube recommendations. And this is a perfect example of this. I'll tell the story real quick before, before we go on. Um, sorry, when I, when I started Persona 4, uh, I, I played Persona 5 first and I went into that completely blind. Um, I got through it and I did really well in it and I was really happy with it. So I got, so I have Persona 4 now. It's on my PlayStation. I haven't picked it up since this happened. Um. Ah, Jamie Marchi. Jamie Marchi is Junko in the thing. I was like, it's either Jamie... Caitlyn or Monica. Okay. I always get Monica and Jamie mixed up. Alright. Uh, anyways, so what happened was, uh, I did, but when I played Persona 4, I was like, I'm just gonna look up the social links so that way I can do a little bit better, like uh, how to improve them quicker, like the dialogue options. Um, but that was a mistake because when you Google something, it also uh, goes to your YouTube recommendations, and so. I got Persona 4 recommendation X spoiling the ending. No, really? Yep. So I have not picked up Persona 4 since, and I might not for a while. Aww. But I was very annoyed with that. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm just pissed. Anyway, back to this. You would listen, you would see I'm not changing the subject. We are discussing your memories. Apparently, two people. What I'm trying it. to say is, the seed of despair is closely tied she to your own memories. She voiced some of her person. Okay, which How ones so? though? Tell me. So you there's two people doing these personalities? Memories, yeah. Oh, interesting. Hope. Aaron Fitzgerald does one, and Amanda something or other does the other. The others. Okay. Those are already despair. Is that so? I just want to get to think trivia. about yep, during course. your time here is how to escape, right? The mere fact that that's what you want. Stop giving me shit from the end. I don't want it. What are you talking about? Four. If we none want. of you wanted to escape this school, the killer is never taken place. By the way, sounds right. Enoshima can literally yeah, mean the island of the bay. Shield so island of the bay. The mm -hmm. Or it can refer to the island in the Kanagawa prefecture. The only reason we want to leave is because you took our memories. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I already predicted that. <laughs> okay, now she's starting to switch too fast. If we our memories, then we wouldn't want to leave. Do I understand that right? What? Why the hell would having our memories make us not want to leave? A most troubling thought, isn't it? But it's not enough. I want more distress. More despair. I put so much effort into creating hope in order to feed your despair and make it grow. You want to save it? So, yeah, I'll save like it. Crazy Eddie, it's, it's a fun fact. <laughs> So Aaron Fitzgerald voices Teacher Junko, Monokuma Junko, and Model Junko. Uh, and Amanda Miller voices the other ones. So Anime Junko, uh, Rocka Junko, and there's one other. She has six, right? 
Uh, oh, Super Despair Drinko. Where's the mushroom? Yeah, and I think also the this guy. Isn't that model? I don't think that's model. Hold on. I'd like for you to see the outside world. The no. outside world? Oh. It's not model. Which one's model? Don't know. Uh, she also has queen. So something really did happen out there. That was the other one that we couldn't now think of. Are you interested in what I have to say? You want to see what's out there? Uh, by the way, uh, the same people that voiced the two personalities of Jericho also voiced the two personalities of Toko. With Amanda Miller voicing uh, Toko. Okay, can we save this? Hold on. And Aaron Fitzgerald voicing Genocide Joe. We, I feel like this is the part where I really should be focusing. I really am. I'm interested in this, but I feel like we should save this for later. Yeah, sorry. My bad. This is why that's there. What? I knew that the world was bad when they, uh, when they needed to make a safe haven for the hope of the world. And everyone said yes. I didn't think we were gonna see a Monokuma Sphinx. Dangerous. The world has grown so very dangerous. That's what this means. What are you talking about? None of this makes any sense. Here are your jackets touching her. Stop. What am I looking at? You're gonna catch the despair. What no. you just saw, all of you should recognize it. We should recognize it? Yeah. What about should we recognize? All of it? This probably. whole thing is insane. That world is locked away within the memories that we're taking from you. If you can't really? remember, please just try. Do your best to try and recall. <laughs> Better kick your brain in the ass! Cause it's up to that gray lump whether you live or die. I don't remember. Ain't a fucking excuse no more. Cause now it's time for the final last trial. Hi, welcome to trial number two. Trial number two? Yeah. This is technically considered trial number two. See? Feels like a damn trial number two. Feels like a damn for the end. I didn't see anything when you showed me that, by the way. I know. I made sure nothing that you could have seen would would have shown you anything anyway. <laughs> this is confusing video you showed us. I don't understand a damn thing. What's the meaning of the footage we saw? Is this another one of your practical jokes? I mean, you're telling us to remember, but what am I supposed to be remembering? Shut that up! Was Shut up! God Shut dear. Up. I can't remember. Is it all over? How can she show me something so completely incomprehensible? And then just say remember. And every one of us lost a memory. He really is hopeless out there. Come on, bitches! Remember or die! Okay, block the pocket with blocking all the people for them. Let's see. Let's look at the locker stuff first. So, no put no put this down. Yes, you're yeah. Is it absorbed? Okay. 
I don't think it's gonna lock the stuff. It seems like it's just. It just seems the most watchful. Let me have a look at it one more time. Do you know what you need to shoot? Not really. I'm trying to figure it out. Okay. I'm not really. That's the first thing that's really on the inside. Spare walks among us, and so we survive. There is a second to spare. Listen to what they say for a bit. Okay. Just, just focus only on what they're saying. Come on, bitches. Remember or die. What the fuck happened that time? You want us to remember or whatever, but when it comes to that crazy, confusing video you showed us, I don't understand a damn thing. What's the meaning of the footage we saw? Is this another one of your practical jokes? I mean... You're telling us to remember, but what am I supposed to be remembering? No one can remember anything. This is the end for all of us. What other choice do we have? Did that help at all? Maybe. I can't remember it was all over. How can you show me something so convenient? Come on, bitches! What remember our death! What the fuck? want us to remember or whatever, but when it comes to that crazy, confusing video you showed us, I don't understand a damn thing. What's this the one person you might remember. Is this another one of your practical jokes? I had to think about it for a second. You're telling us to remember, but what am I supposed to be remembering? Because the memories are separate. No, no, no. One person remembers. I had to think about that for a good chunk of time. <clears throat> Only Toko's memory was erased. Jill's got it all. Jill! I never noticed this when I played. I think because my brain just auto-corrected it to Genocide Jill. Yeah. Wow. But it, it's Man, these guys fucking suck. <laughs> Jesus. I mean... He's been known as Genocide Jack. She's been known as Genocide Jack so long. Yeah, but even she herself said, better yet, Genocide Jill. At least Hero gets it right. Yeah, of all the fucking people. You tell me to swap places with her? No, absolutely not. That'd be like forfeiting my entire identity. Well, we kind of need that right now. Cool. Oh shit, there's like so much- Like the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, but 50 trillion times better. I would like to argue! Nah, I know you love Spidey, but come on, man. No, friendly I'm neighborhood like... serial killer, genocide- Come on. Who would have what your friendly neighborhood serial killer genocide Jill? To just be here having a blast with you. Me. Mostly because I don't like scissors in my chest. Nah, it's okay. I can, I can convince her not to kill you. Can you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know yeah. anything about this yeah. video? No, yeah. no. I'll, I'll wage your gay sex and we'll see if that works. The video that's playing right now. Who the hell are you? De oh, um, I'm the mastermind. Oh, nice to meet you. <laughs> Love her. Oh, great, we have two CEOs. Uh, there's so much crazy in one room. Just look at the stupid screen. This look at the damn screen, damn it. This straw is about to get super interesting. Yeah, this is my favorite part. Hi, in case you forgot, Monokuma. So much Monokuma. Well, does it look familiar? I don't have all the details, but... Of course it does! Can you Cutie. remember all the stuff it's showing? I love her. Of course I do! I love her so- like, like, I don't think anyone- Of course I didn't! Then why didn't you say something earlier? You guys never asked. I only answer questions if someone bothers to ask me! Quiet, 
Oh my god, god. Take, you know, the with the fucking scissors and tongue out. If you really do remember, what is it? Hell. What's the matter, Master? Do you really not remember the tragedy? No. Fill us in, Togo. Wait, I when they described the most often in the world, I thought they would it seemed like a sort of exaggeration. I thought it just had to do with the school. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, thanks. We got that. Yeah, we we got that. <laughs> so what was the tragedy? The, they'll they'll get that. They'll they'll get there. They'll get there. I hope they get to it this episode. No. I don't think they get to it this way. This episode. Maybe she will. I don't know. I remember it taking forty years. Thanks. Explain yourself. Tell us everything you know. <laughs> I love the aggressive to sit down. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Can so what uh, explain. Was it? I explain. I just want to talk about it. Just shush so I can pay attention. Okay. Either way, there's no doubt that it was the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. And as a result, in basically no time flat. The world turned out the way it did, and that's that. But what was it? Thanks, you explained nothing. I know what happened, and that explained nothing. We already did, and she didn't know anything. That's why we're asking you. Well, get that. I couldn't live up to Master's expectations! To they both have some variation of that pose. Mm -hmm. This is the true tragedy! Okay, okay, that's enough of your little lover's quarrel. For once, I agree with you, Sweet Pea. Whatever happened, it doesn't matter at this exact point in time, right? <laughs> kind of. You, you asked us to... Everything figure it out. In other words, you literally told us, remember, fuckers. No, she didn't remember, That's bitches. Right, correct. Remember, bitches. Sorry. The world just end? Then she said, come on, bitches. It's the world. Calm down. It's okay. There's no need to panic. That's all right. Don't panic. Mind, that reminds me of the good place. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't panic. Everything's fine. Oh. Yeah. Now you're just being ridiculous. Like, all right, red flag. <laughs> well, as long as we're being ridiculous, I have another ridiculous story to tell you. Do you know? It's the story of the Togami Corporation, which oh. has given Gyakuya's life okay. all its meaning. Uh oh. I didn't know we were getting here yet. What, what did you say? All right. I'm glad to see you took the bait. Hi, teacher Junko. You bit into Welcome it back. Like a middle-aged secretary at an all-you-can-eat cake buffet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I guess I'm a middle-aged secretary. Uh, Gee, uh, you know what? Shit. I think, you know what? C is looking real nice, but also like A and B though, looking Hang real on. nice too. I gotta think really hard about this one. I think it's C. Give me a sec. Okay. Oh, uh, what? This when, one. <laughs> when I did this, I let the time run all the way until it was about to run out. No, sh sh I'm trying to think. <laughs> I just remembered that. <laughs> this is this is hard. Oh yeah, Fuck. very hard. This is the hardest choice in the game. I literally put my phone down and just watched the clock. What happens if you run out the clock on this? Bad things. Oh, I wish I could have saved that. Well done, peasant. I wanted to save right there so I could. I say anything yet. <laughs> if you let the, I bet if you let the clock run out, she just says it. Maybe, because I think I accidentally let it. I don't know that I actually hit A. I don't know. In time. I really don't know. I wish I had saved before that. Thanks! Yeah. I think I picked the wrong answer, though. So that's very helpful. 
Yeah, it's called depression. And ADHD. Anyway, I have like both. I was saying, Hi. Been totally Sick. What the hell are you talking about? Stuff. I can confirm that his entire family has died. Even the distant relatives. The Tagami name has perished. Stop with these idiotic jokes. Are you enjoying the Akia in panic mode? No. Okay. I'm feeling bad for him. Cool. Good. Don't use Avatar. You don't have the right. You are no longer the ultimate affluent progeny. They could possibly be gone. The Togami family is destined to guide the world. Well. There is no world anymore, remember? It got fucked a full year ago. I think I just realized this wasn't the actor. That don't make sense. There's no way that happened a year ago. I mean, we only came to this school a few weeks ago. If some kind of world ending event happened a year ago, then how do you explain the totally normal world we were living in up till then? Have you considered the possibility that you're mistaken about that? Mistaken? I've considered well, that we were living a normal school life, but... You, right? It sounds like you think the tragedy happened a year before you arrived here. Wait. Well, well, yeah. I mean, like he said, we just got here a few weeks ago. A few weeks ago? Ooh, I get it. You're saying that what happened two years ago actually happened more recently, right? Huh? Two years ago? Well, I mean, we... you guys all started attending Hope Speak Academy two years ago. I... I didn't think it was that long. <laughs> what the hell is this dude trying to say? I understand why you have trouble accepting it, but in the end... You can't deny the truth. Okay. We're coming up on time. Mm hmm There's a lot fucking going on. I need a minute. So we're gonna call this episode. B There's a lot to unpack here that I'm not paying attention to. Yeah, I know. Like, uh... here's the thing. You've been doing your own thing. You've been disassembling Junko's character. Well, I've been trying to process this. It's not who I thought it was. I thought it was the guy who voiced uh, the boss in regular show. Oh, Benson? Yeah, it's not. It wasn't uh, him. It sounded very similar to Benson, though. That would have been very funny. But anyway, what I'm si uh, you have been looking up a lot of stuff while I've been trying to process. Oh, here's a fun fact to get your mind off of processing things real quick. Okay. Um, according to her profile in the official Danganronpa art book, Junko wears black panties with red trim near the waistband, semi-transparent sections at the hips, and an image of Monokuma's left eye on the front. They go unseen in the game proper due to Junko's role as the hidden mastermind of the killing game. Uh, oh, in the game proper. Period. Due to Junko's role as the hidden mastermind of the killing game, Makoto was unable to have free time events with her. And, until he did the after effect thing. Cool. So, I'm still processing a lot of shit, but now I also have Junko's panties on the mind. Yeah! Anyways... Just know that she has adorable little, basically, Monokuma undies on. Just know that that's what she's wearing right now. Little Monokuma undies. We'll be back to this right away. We're, we're, um, we're going to take a short break so I can, like, process some thoughts. And also tell me what we've gone over so far, because I'm going to be honest, I was not paying attention to anything in that. <laughs> I know, bad, man. I know. You were so focused on hanging Junko, you didn't give a shit about what was happening. No, 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 no. I was so focused on trying to find out if Benson was the voice actor of Yakia there. You also the saw, you you got very depressed the moment Junko came on screen. Yeah, I mean, then, I guess, like, I, guess you, out. I guess you can give the, the voice actors credit for that. Yeah. Like, mad props really fill me with despair the second she comes on screen but i also think it has to do with the anime adaptation i think that's why yeah because i'm actually kind of enjoying her here yeah i didn't like her when i played the game don't get me wrong i hated her uh but uh i hated her multiple personality things um but i definitely think it 
grew even more when I watched all the anime stuff. Yeah. Uh, anyways, we're going to get back to this in just uh, right away, but we're going to take a short break. Yeah. Um, I've been the game hero. I've been Ollie. What the fuck? I'm excited to get to talk about this with someone now. Yay! I am... Ex- no, I am... What? <laughs> 